Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're about to follow Evelyn. She mentioned going into a brain dance, which I'm super stoked to see. Uh, just a heads up, if you have uh, epilepsy, if you suffer from anything like that, there have been a couple of reports of people having issues with the device going into the brain dance. So at that point, you might just want to like look away for a couple of seconds. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't affect too many of you. And uh, I know they're trying to fix that in probably one of the next big patches. So anyways, let's rock and roll. No, no. don't cry. You got it can be a very though. useful tool. Mm -hmm, sure. Good for analyzing sure. details, like human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. Oh, cool. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why? You object? Well, yeah. How did she get in there? No objections. Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? <laughs> I know oh, him pretty man. well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I Is think. that right? Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. All activities are recorded. It's like this giant server farm. V. This is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. Mm -hmm. I trust her. No, but no, she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Okay. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. It's interesting that she makes the distinction saying she's a mock. She's not the newest member of your crew. What are you doing? Since I'm cleaning out your uh, server room because there's dust and obviously heat can be problematic. So, I mean, I thought that was pretty common knowledge. Wow. This looks like a... Uh, Ripper Dock. <clears throat> Get up. Hey, there you are. This is V. Hey, I think she's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. I think she was at the bar. This hardware is top shelf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> hmm. Mod all this yourself? What do you think? <laughs> Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> Alright, all right. The amount of detail we know. Compiled That's awesome. BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. That probably gains a lot of credibility with her when we start talking Believe about me, the gear and with worse. some of its pros and cons. Jig, jig, street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Uh, no, I haven't. What's what, what's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Okay. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, 
we'll get you going. So the traditional BDs wouldn't go as in depth as this, I presume. And look at the console setup she's got here. Whoa. She was the one sitting at the bar when we first approached as well. I recognized the tattoos. Busy Jissy. You gotta create your sensory profile first. Uh, what profile? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Yeah, thanks. Uh, okay, profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. <laughs> now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Oh, so I see now the flashing that people were talking about. Uh, am I going to have to calibrate each time? Am I going to have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. I need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. Oh, oh this is gonna be cool. Up. Now let me see. Where could we? Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What's the risk exactly? What you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. We've seen clips of this in uh, early gameplay that they've shown. Down, everybody, on the ground. What I see you kissing the flooring. Money now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey, uh, now before I blow your fucking head off. Jeez. Whoa. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. And they put in those uh, pain receptor things that they were talking about. So why not? <laughs> Could have warned us. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, <laughs> much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. You got to be in a somewhat special mental state to want to get into a BD that would be this intense. I'll sever the link to the BD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. <laughs> Full cam control and analysis. Move mode. the camera so freely around, around the scene. In and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. 
Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Super no, cool. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Press and hold Q to rewind. rewind. Roll it back to the top. Should I, should I? All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Okay, so fast forward with E. Plan simple. Do nothing off the creep. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try R for restart. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Yeah, now we're talking. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. You can only scan a clue during moments when it's perceivable by the person recording the brain dance. Okay. So, we want to find the gun. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot an extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, there we right go. Here. Okay, so at least we have we do have some type of indicators, so we're not flying completely blind here. Uh, indicates currently selected layers. So there's a visual layer at the top. We have a thermal layer, and then we have a sound layer. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Okay. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Oh, okay. Let's you just have on. to hover. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. That's wild. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll oh, take the so register. We can even hear it through here because of this dicks, fan. Eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Yeah. Seriously. It's wild. What's happening right next to me? Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. I don't know if I will. Uh, okay, so I want to check, like... Oh, leaving signal range. Okay, never mind. That's what I was wondering, is, like, how deep does this go? Go restock. I'll take the register. And a how about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpentine. Everybody! Oh, so we got to stay, like... Okay, I see. We got to stay close to this guy. Um, do we have any other sounds in here? Not that I can see. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. What? Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Just wanna see, like, is there anything else that we've got in here? No, I don't think so. Money! Scanning oh, there we go. Keeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. So I imagine if this is not being tutorialized, this might not pause for us here. This would pop up and then we have to like come and check it out. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. 
Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Yeah, okay, cool. Shot him and he never saw it coming. <laughs> but you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Yeah. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Oh, wow. Okay, so the thing we're going to have to remember is that even though he seems to just be this is just recording it might be picking up things he's not even aware of uh if we're going to use the visual layer it needs to be something we need to access it at the time that he sees it and like making that link between a camera and the monitor that's cool Okay. His own chumba shot him. That's Probably a guy from the outside? Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, wow. if you've seen enough, you can exit. Exit the brain dance, press X. I, I want to just see like what else might be possible. What if we switch to... Oh, okay, I can't switch to that thermal layer. I want to see if there's anything on the sound layer that comes up. Hmm. Toast. Wow. of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Yeah. Makes sense? Okay, no, I got you. This is wild. Okay, I can't wait to use this, like, for real. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. Anyway, you ready to do this? Yeah, th Look she's probably pissed about no that. Way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Why? Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Give us a chance. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. <laughs> Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Nice. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? What's up, T? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, yeah, Judy and Evelyn are here. Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh huh. All right. You gonna tell me what like this that. is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. <laughs> Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? 
A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. So she must only be able to... Well, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much of the experience she gets through connecting to us like this. I guess we'll find out. All right, B. Eyes open. Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. Okay, so... Examine the brain dance in analysis mode. Scan the apartment security system. Like Watch the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view. Are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, we will. Uh, it does say to watch the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view. So maybe after we dance around a bit, we'll do that. Finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You mm. will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay. So, okay, I hope it doesn't, like, just take us out of here at one point, because I'd love to spend some more time. Scan the apartment security systems. Problem is, we need to go to a point where she actually sees these. What if we restart? I'm going to get out of... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get out of editing mode for this. I think we have something right away here, though. You look like a... Cyberware. Military-grade cyberware detected. 96% cybernetic modifications. Extreme danger. Extreme caution advised. Ah, uh, here we go. Alarm system. Alarm firmware is fresh, but... Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let hmm. me generate keys. I can forge their six. There we go. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Okay. Unfuckable meat, are you? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Dinner drink on. Wow, champagne's decent. Removed from reality. Oh, we somehow. can taste it too. That's cool, man. The Same bubbly you'll be no sipping in real space exists. soon. 
of a world that may never have existed. So then she comes and sits down here. Eye to eye for the past 20 years. Let's I scan this. Sure we want now. Read the documentation. Please. Unless this is the same the thing. Requires specific storage conditions. You must no, know right. them. Enough. I think so. Sorry to make you wait. Oh, hold up. Phone, let's go visual? No. I guess that's the same sound that we got before. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe that's the same too? Sc oh, scan his data pad while it's turned on. Okay. Uh, maybe that's not the data pad. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. <laughs> it's quite the glasses on this guy. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Oh wow! Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me only one focus oh we got something here so hold on automated turret no big deal automated turrets latest scanner model system is all connected to the server can you shut them off externally no way gotta get in check out how they link into the system first Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Okay. Get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. So that's just another camera. Let's keep this going. Oh, got any candy left? Candy. Drugs, Stuff people. Was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Where are we going? Oh, hello. <laughs> Not Just penis nano gel again. For the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. What love is. Ah, there we go. What's oh, a gun? Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay. Until you learn. So it seems like it'll basically prompt us for everything that's scannable. Um, yeah, it seems like it will just prompt us. So I don't have to worry too much, maybe. Maybe we'll see as they get more complex. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So. Chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Okay, so now we've got thermal. Oh, cool. Scan the thermal clues to find the relic. Oh, we don't have any identified yet. Uh, now, do I need to be in the editing mode? I wonder if I need to be on thermal when I switch back. The I don't think so. Oh, fuck. Hello. It's like I'm really... <laughs> B, eye on the prize. Focus. I missed this. You. I know. Okay, so we need to find... 
Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, there. So if I have my way, I think the way that we do this is you just watch the entire thing, let the things kind of pop up and tabulate, and then go through the layers as we uh, as we want. Okay. Champagne and ice bucket. Don't think that's going to be it. Oh, Donna Gies. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Okay. I hate for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Let's fast forward. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the tri fifth county. It was not easy. Aha. Here we go. What is this? Fridge. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. What is this thing even? Your has got the case here. Guaranteed. It's a hidden safe. Mm-hmm. You got it. <laughs> Good work. Looks cool. like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. And this is this is really, really, really cool. With your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can explain the risks involved you. I just want to see if anything else interesting comes up on the uh, thermals. So what is it on this layer here that's scannable? Is it just those things that we already got? I think so, hey? Don't notice anything else that would be helpful. Oh, got any candy left? And then the thermal here. What was that that was popping up? Oh, the gun. Oh, here. Okay. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. See how it like completely clears it off of the timeline? Makes me wonder if we're missing something here. Leaving visual. I want to say it's probably just these two things that we've already scanned. Champagne. Yeah, I think it's probably those. Anyways, we'll get used to it as we go. So let's uh, let's exit this. Get everything you need. <sighs> yep. Yeah, a little Got bit more that we didn't need. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I wiped the cash on your data. You were never here. So the turret could be an issue, um, but we have uh, demons that we can upload to deal with turrets. Uh, the gun could potentially become an issue. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Depending on how things go. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Oh, nice. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Great. Don't worry. Everything's under control. We got this. Relax. I got it all I under think. control. <laughs> if you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. Not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. That's awesome, man. Oh, I can't wait to get into more of these. Doesn't have anything else to say. Oh, cool. V, one sec. Thanks, Judy. Really. 
Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. And if I don't, I'm sure you'll tell me. What does this she have here? Brain dance concepts. Okay. Uh, oh, these are ideas that she's come up with. BD of a woman giving birth. Pros, nobody's done it yet. Con, have to hook up to a prenatal wreath, which is more expensive. Don't know what wreath means. Uh, BD of the most common dreams. Compilation. Pro, it's doable. Cons, I'll have to consistently scroll the dreams of a dozen or a couple dozen people over at least a year to catch the repeating themes. Flying, swimming, falling, going to work, school, naked. 2BD scrolled by two actors. Neural track set up so that it looks like 1BD. Pro, it'd be Nova, which is like cool. Uh, con, tech for it doesn't exist. So she's like really into it. This is like all she does, it seems. Let's walk. Yeah, let's. Tell me all the ways that this could go poorly for me. Well, what do you think? Uh, are you not afraid they're going to tie you to this? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorin Obi. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats, or a little bedroom plaything like me. Yeah, fair point. You sure you got this under control? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? Not yet. I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. And the connection to Yorinobu, what's its nature exactly? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex. Biz. And biz only. Hmm. And you sure that he doesn't suspect anything? You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, hmm. even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle. I suppose so. The thing is, if I was Yorinobu, and something like this happens to me, I'd be going through all the people that have any possible clue that it's there. Well, and knowing how frequently she seems to be meeting up with him, she would definitely be somebody on my list. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Hmm. You want to haze our fixer? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. Without a rep, you're yeah. nobody. And she's taken too many sure risks to do this? already. Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? <laughs> your choice. Uh... So we can outright refuse or say we can think about it. It seems like we're not super committing either way. V? Um... I, I think I don't think we want to burn Dex. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. Yeah. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. Fifty percent. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. Persuasive man. I I I, I get it, Evelyn. But let's see how things go after this. Maybe we can skip the fixer if this goes well. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. 
I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Yeah, remember that's sorry. That's nomad life Fine. too. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. Yeah, we'll see. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. Nomads, uh... I need a few words with Judy. We're all about family and stuff, right? And trust and relationships, and that stuff goes a really long way. And even though we're Time's not in nomad city. land, that doesn't change too much. I kind of want to see... If we can overhear her conversation. How things looking, Mr. V? Yeah, I got the Compeki recording. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. Everything's ready to roll. What now? We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that vital <laughs> chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. So freaking cool. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Okay, so we need to head to Afterlife now, which is a little ways away. Let's actually find out where that is. Okay, so it's way south. In my head, I was thinking about this other thing that we need to pick up uh, somewhere north. I can't remember exactly where it is, but there's something up here some coordinates that we received uh, that could be interesting. could be nothing as well. Uh, but either way, looks like we need to head down to the afterlife. On the way, we'll definitely tackle these things that make sense. Um, let's just get out of here. Yeah, I said I'd come to you. Oh. I did. You do the math. From Jackie. How's it going? What's the status? Oh, nice. Okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> Met with the client, played me a BD of the place that we are supposed to visit. BD, huh? Alright, alright, just keep me posted. I like that he's a texter. You know, why Why call when you can just text? That's my rule. Okay, Evelyn, good chat. Mm -hmm. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada, yada, yada. All the while, I'm angling to get a word in because I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go to pick my daughter up from preschool. But it's Aww. chill, you know. Then, this guy stumbles in, whacked out, almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape sheet inside? Nah. Yeah, joy toys. This. Shum says he wants real fun, real flesh, punching animal like. No virtue shit. Whoa. He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay triple. So Gina, what she do? Drags the gonk back to a box. Guy's so high, he thinks the BD trolls are some fancy ass toy. And Gina loads the orgy with the infinite loop uh, uh, orgasm no, at the no, end. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, I do and he couldn't tell? Hear it. Nah, come on. Even when they're sober, still think that Bukaki <laughs> finish is real. <laughs> Wow, man, that's this is amazing. Okay, okay, uh, let's get out of here. Nothing's wrong, really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. You said nothing's wrong. I can't wait to come back here just for like, you know, research and stuff. Tell the girls at the door. Fucking world! It, it's my friend. Yeah, she same. Eighth Street. What's this? Ah, the Mox. It's one of those stories that's either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The Mox came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The Mox is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, any list artists, so Again, Eddie's pennies. Uh, aimless rebels and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand. Today, the mocks is thriving as demonstrated by the booming biz of Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is renowned for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gangoons, 
uh, pop stars and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of Legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here uh, back when it was just a typical dive with the stripper pole, and we kind of learned about this before. Janice proudly explained. Uh, she took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into the pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. She had, like, uh, insurance for all the girls and stuff like that. Like this one time, this fucker, editor's note, referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is, she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty. It took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the Claws found out fast... That and they flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and, well, you already know the rest. Wow. So she took out this tiger guy, and then they found out, and they flatlined her. So they're the ones that killed Lizzie. And then these guys, like, revolted and uh, came mocks. I know, I know. As we see them now. Is there a problem? Yeah, my bike's missing. That's the problem. What the? F Can't trust anybody around here. What a gong show. Yeah. Hey, whose car is this though? <laughs> this is nice. What? 20? You can bypass the locks of parked vehicles if you meet the technical ability attribute. Oh my God. So another reason to have technical. I want to see if this one's the same. So some cars are going to be... Oh, wow. So that's not a... So I guess body stat is for when they're driving and you're pulling someone out. Because the car is presumably, I guess, unlocked would be the, the way that that works. And the body stat is based on wrestling somebody out of it. And then when they're locked, it's using the, uh, the technical stat. That's really, really cool. Uh, okay, so... Obviously, we do want to go down the technical tree. I think a couple of points in body, maybe maybe getting this up to like level six. There's We've seen a bunch of guns. We've seen doors. We've seen uh, hijacking vehicles that have higher requirements. And I'm thinking it would be worth just putting the extra point in here. Plus, it makes us just slightly tankier. A um, little bit more stamina. You can see all the stuff that it does. So let's take that. And then for our perks, what do we want to do next? Increase the amount of components acquired from access points. We've been doing this a lot, so I can actually see value there. Upgrades the data mine demon, increasing the amount of euro dollars from access points. Also components or euro dollars. This is big because at level three, it's about 300 uh, euro dollars. So we would get 450, which is no joke. Good way to make cash. Upgrades the mass vulnerability demon, reducing all resistances. Increases the breach time for breach protocol by a hundred or by twenty. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's look at our cyberware. So we already have this one. It's increasing the breach time of, of breach protocol by a hundred percent. I have to imagine that this is when it says increasing. I think it means that it's reducing, like it's halving the time. I think so. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. So that said, I don't think we need to go into there. Limiting a target affected by quick hack. This is all to get RAM back, which might become beneficial. Weapon damage while silence. I definitely want to get this. So after we get to like level six for body, I think then we'll go a point in cool to get hidden dragon. Anything else we want in here? Hmm. I'm not sure where we want to put this. We could always save it too, but why don't we grab the Euro dollars here? This will make us a little bit richer, a little bit quicker. And we are using it a lot, so. Boom. Okay, and lastly, I just want to take a look to see in here. Do we have any quick hacks? We don't have any recipes there. So, I don't know if we can buy um, 
quick hack recipes or if you have to find them or what, but we'll keep our eye out for it. Uh, we're level eight now, street cred level 10, and we got some work to do. So let's take a break here. When we come back, we're going to tackle some of the jobs along the way to uh, the afterlife, and then we'll see where that leads. And likely we're going to be kind of jumping around in here. Hopefully we end up up in this north section because we have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, if not, we'll just force our way up there. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.